Hi. A couple of weekends ago, I was fortunate enough to head to Melbourne with my best friend Joanne and 12 other ladies, 11 of whom we had actually never met. We all converged on Melbourne. There were some ladies from Tasmania, Queensland, Canberra, some northern New South Wales, and we were all converging to have a weekend or a few days, long weekend, of shopping, um, food, drinks, and just a general girly uh, weekend. The weekend was organised by Lee from Hello Me Escapes and Nikki from Styling You because we're all actually um, followers of Nikki's Styling You community. And really, going away for a weekend shopping with your own personal stylist, that's the way to do it. So on my list, I had uh, black trousers and a trench coat, and I did come home with those and maybe a few other items. So I thought I'd share with you my shopping haul from the weekend. First outfit, we did have a high tea to go to as part of the weekend. And I took an outfit with me, but I was still on the lookout for something, something new. And I ventured into review and found this gorgeous dress. Not normally a review girl, but I did love this. Perfect for a high tea. And it has pockets. <laughs> the style is Chateau Rose. And just the vibrant colour and the embroidery features on it are just stunning. Of course, I had to buy some matching heels, and these are from Nine West. Um, the wine suede um, style, Nora is the style, and they're a nine and a half centimetre high heel, but I was able to walk all afternoon in them, um, which was not a problem. And then being Melbourne, I thought I needed this little um, bolero style jumper. So this is, the style is Sonnet uh, Cardi, and I'm wearing in the dress and the Cardi a size 14. But I thought without the cardi, sorry, these little clips, without the cardi, it's still going to be perfect for Queensland because it is sleeveless. I won't be taking, putting this on very much, will I? It is sleeveless, so it is still going to be great for Brisbane, for Queensland, um, for a high tea or garden wedding style event. And of course, I did have to buy some new earrings. These are Basque brand and in the rose gold, just match the outfit for perfectly. So while I was in review, um, I checked out their black pants um, range and found these gorgeous ones. I like that they have these buttons on the waistline and there's also some buttons at the back. <laughs> um, so they're a great slim line pants, good quality. Um, the style is Petra pants. And I've um, then teamed it with Roxanne brand top in this blueberry. Roxanne is another favorite store that I, and brand that I always venture into in Melbourne. Um, and I normally can always find something. I have previously, have previously had this top in black. So I wanted to check out what other colors. And I like that, just the unusual um, line of the top. It's a nice length that it covers the, um, the backside. So the pants I'm wearing are a size um, 14 and the Roxanne top I'm in a size 12. Then as, as I said, another item on my list was my trench coat. I checked out so many of them, but I managed to find from Myers this David Lawrence brand. Just gorgeous. There were so many colours to look at, but I thought black was just perfect. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous quality, has the belt. All of the, um, the double buttons down the front, pockets, as well as the, um, the extra band on the cuff feature as well. So another item from Roxanne is this gorgeous, vibrant, multicoloured jacket. The style is called um, Jacket Fob. It must be because of this gorgeous fob style metal closure that holds the jacket open. When I saw it on the mannequin, it was like, oh, that is so me. And even Joanne said that. And so it's just gorgeous. I'm wearing a size 12 in this one. Love the shape and it's going to get so much wear, um, particularly in the office. It teams perfectly with my review pants and I've just popped it on with, a, um, with one of my own black tops. But really, if I didn't want to go all black underneath, I could pull out, say, the orange or the teal or even the green or red for a little cami underneath and it will work perfectly. 
So most of the shopping we did in Melbourne ranged from Flinders Lane uh, through to Burke Street Mall, um, in through Myers and David Jones, into Emporium and then also Melbourne Central. And that was the majority of the time. But then on the Sunday before we flew home, we went out to Williamstown and we visited Moto Fashions. Well, I have a new favourite brand. Love it. The rest is all Moto, all of my outfits. So, first one. These are called um, Scuba Easy Fit Pant in these gorgeous paisley. Love them. So comfy. I've just topped it with my own black top again. And then this Merlot, this wine colour is the colour um, for autumn and winter. Everything, every, it was everywhere and I just love it. So this Voyager viscose, um, like a duster coat that um, is just gorgeous. Nice and lightweight. That's what we found, you know, a lot of the Moto fashions um, are the perfect weight for Queensland. Just adore it. Love it. Love the feature on the sleeve, on the um, shoulder as well. Here's another item from Moto. I have found I'm normally in pants, I'm a 14, and some of the tops I'm in a 12, like that last duster, I was a 12, but this whole outfit is I'm a size 14. Love these suede pants. Suede pants and this suede linear long vest in slate, they're calling the colour. It's almost, it is like a really pale denim blue, just adore it. And then a striped jersey um, long tunic, they call it. It's a great weight. When I bought the, the two, I thought, would I ever wear them together? And I haven't done yet, but I have that option. But I thought it's better to probably have the pants and the suede and the vest in the same colour. So if I do want to wear them together, I can. But just adore the length. Of the moto tops as well that's just great because i am always quite fussy about particularly when my when my pants are a little bit um snug and they're not jeans i don't mind jeans but normally with snugger pants i like to have my backside covered so that is always a consideration for me and it's a gorgeous v neckline as well i really did have a nice shop at moto didn't i here's another two tops so I have this gorgeous um, cami for underneath this lace top and the colour is Atlantic and I've gone, because it's next to my, um, like I wanted it fitted so I've gone a 12 in the cami and then I have this gorgeous lace striped um, tee, love this, um, the bell shaped um, sleeves on it, bit of leaf, bit of lace for um, the detail, gorgeous colour. And really, I could pull out, say, the purple or the pink and or the aqua as I've gone. Um, just perfect. And again, I like the unusual um, hemline of a lot of the tops from Moto. And now the last top from Moto is this gorgeous V-style um, swing top. Very similar to the Roxanne one I bought. Um, so I'm sure you've picked up that I do like this unusual hemline. Nice length, gorgeous colour and quality, and perfect for Queensland. So this is actually, the colour is iris, and love it. This is actually a size 12. Love my last few things I bought on the weekend were some infinity um, style scarves. So we have a black and white spot, which I think would work fine with, with this combo. We have a plain pink that has some um, tassels on then a nice stripe this is actually really this is probably my favorite just to have the different browns pinks reds and just to highlight a black and white outfit would be gorgeous and i managed to only two pairs of shoes in this shopping haul obviously you saw my nine west in the um, rust color heels and then these gorgeous ones i always like to visit sonori shoes which is in flinders lane and Often come back, come home with more than one pair, but I did control myself this time. I own only one pair. Look at these. Are these so me or what? They're strappy flats, they're vibrant colours, and just adore them. The brand is Django and Juliet, which is also a favourite brand, but love visiting Sonori. So I hope you've enjoyed my shopping haul. 
I'll pop all the um, the links below because obviously these are all current um, current season items in case you really have to have them in your wardrobe as well. I prepped for this video by including um, the prices for all items, but my husband's actually going to be editing this video, so I thought maybe I shouldn't list them because he might get the calculator out. So please. Um, Feel free to subscribe to this channel. You can follow Style with Susie and Oz on Instagram as well. And hope you enjoyed the video.